Welcome to my channel, you guys, to my channel, mine. That feels so weird to say, honestly, but I'm really excited. Today I'm doing a get ready with me of this look. So if you guys want to see it, keep on watching. Look, you guys, look at kitty ears. Do you like them? Okay, so let's start with primer. I already moisturized my face. I already did my eye cream. I already put on my lip balm. I'm going to use the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and warm it in between my hands like these. I'm going to just start pressing. Okay, next for the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And do a little bit of correcting with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Peach. Okay. To blend out my corrector, I'm going to use this Good Night brush by Luxie to 110. Beauty blender, just to make sure it's all blended in. I already see some like flakiness happening around right here, so I'm gonna go in with my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. Just like a quick before I put on my foundation. Okay, that's cool, that's cool now. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And I am in the shade 128 Nude. And to blend that out, I'm gonna be using my Luxie Airbrush Foundation number 732 brush. Your ears. Got it. This color looking a little light for me, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work. For the next layer, I'm gonna take a pump on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go on my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender. For contour, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand Easy Contour in the shade Medium Dark. I like this a lot. My only thing is like, I don't like this. This application method is a little bit like weird to me. Also, the product dries up pretty fast, so. Work fast. Blend that out. I'm going to use my crown brush that doesn't have a number on it, but it looks like this. Nice and dense and fluffy. And then I'm going to just take a little bit from the applicator directly onto the brush. And then I'm going to do my forehead with this. Next, our jaw. Okay, so for my nose, I'm going to use the Royal and Langnickel Angle Shader. My dog is very large and very loud. And I'll do a little bit under my lip right here for a little pout. 
And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm just gonna take it right here. My little dip right there above my cupid's bum. Thank you, Charlotte Tilbury. Next, let's conceal. I'm gonna use the Born This Way. Yes, my favorite concealer ever. I'm in the shade Nude. I love this concealer. It's so full coverage and the finish is fire. Don't need too much because it is extremely full coverage. Just how I love. Just a little bit right here. Just a little bit right here. And then down half of the bridge of my nose. And the tippy tip. I'm gonna blend that out with my Morphe blending sponge. For my nose, I'm going to use a brush to blend that out. The brush I'm going to use is the Luxie 249. It's dual-ended. Okay, now to set, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Blotting Powder, Universal Shade. I love this powder. I feel like this is one of the powders that is truly translucent. Like, no matter how much you put on, I feel like the color doesn't build up at all. So just very lightly, and this is my Morphe E48 brush. Okay, now let's bake. To bake under my eyes, I'm going to use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It looks like this. It has like this little, uh, kind of like a bowl situation. And then it has a stopper right there. So if you're traveling, it keeps the powder from coming out, which I love. I like to use this powder under my eyes because... The finish is ridiculous. It blurs, it smooths, it feels, it's just the best, it's just the best. So I'll bake for about, I'll say like 10, maybe five to 10 minutes. Tonight I'm going skating with my friends. Uh, roller skating not ice skating and I haven't been in so long I know I'm gonna fall so hard so hard I'm not even ready but that's why I need to bake because my makeup needs to last through all of the falls and all of the crying from laughing because I'm gonna be cracking up I already know okay so it's been like five ten minutes ish Let's dust off using the same E48 brush by Morphe. I just dust off very lightly. Super light pressure. After I dust off my base, I just take a little bit more of the same powder. I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. I forgot what the name of this collection was, but these are just so cute. I love this sparkly handle, I die. So I'll just take a little bit of powder on that fluffy brush, and then I'm gonna go in and set everywhere that I didn't bake. All right. So now that our base is all done, we're getting to the fun part, finally, we're gonna contour. For contour, I want to use the Stellar Face Sculptor Palette, and this one is in the shade Nebula. I love this palette. I never ever hear people talking about this, but this contour color blends like butter. And the highlights are really pretty too. 
I'm gonna use my Mac 109. The number is removed because it's pretty old, but it's my favorite. For nose contour, I'm gonna take the same angle shader brush, very lightly. Okay, now that we're nice and contoured, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. For bronzer, I'm using the Marc Jacobs 104 Tantastic. And I love this bronze. I feel like it's very, 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 very smooth. It doesn't like enhance my texture. I don't feel like it applies too much. Just perfect. For that, I'm going to go in with my Morphe R7 brush. Perfect. I feel like the way that this brush is tapered is just perfect for bronze. I feel like it doesn't work for you. With that same bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 131 Mini Angled Brush. I got this in my BoxyCharm. It is so cute and little. Let me compare it to the normal angle shader just so you guys can see the size difference. It's very small. So I'll dip into my bronzer, and then I use this just to define my crease. Okay, now that all my powders are on, I'm just gonna go ahead and melt them all together. How I do this is I'll take a, um, this is the same Morphe sponge that we were using. I'm gonna use this side, the clean side. And I'll just spray that with that same dewy spray that we were using. Just make sure it's nice and damp. And then I'm gonna stamp this very lightly all over my face. Okay, after we melt everything off with the sponge, I'm gonna go in with my setting spray. This is the Scandinavia, mm, the makeup finishing spray for oily skin. This is my favorite of all time. I love it. <gasps> no. Hold on, you guys, we might have an emergency. <laughs> I have more. Oh, that was almost bad. I never miss that step in my makeup routine. I feel like that's what prevents my foundation from getting cakey anywhere, like around my mouth where I have most of the problem. Just doing that never fails me. Next, after we do our melted technique and we do our first set, let's go in with highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna use the Melt Cosmetics Highlight it in gold ore. It's very beautiful gold. For this, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Y14 brush. For precision highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M330. For a blush today, I'm gonna be using, I only pretty much like peach blush, guys, so this is, this is my blush channel. The one that I've been loving, loving recently, and I almost broke it, is by ColourPop and it is called Tulip to Quit. For that, I'm gonna use my Morphe E4 angle brush.
I'm gonna go in with that same sponge and just over where I put the blush and the highlight, just to melt it all in there. Again with the Scandinavia. Okay, so for my brows, I don't really know what I'm doing with my brows these days. They're getting on my nerves. But I did get a sample of Urban Decay Brow Endowed. And this is in Brunette Betty. It has one primer side and one color side. Just going to brush out up here in the front. Okay, after brows, lashes. So for lashes today, I'm gonna use the Ardell 113 Wispies in black. I like these. I usually stack them because I don't feel like this is enough for me, but. We're gonna try it by itself. If it doesn't work out, then we'll put another pair on top. The lash glue that I'm using is the House of Lashes lash glue. It's my favorite. It's very strong. So if you use it, be careful. And not to put too much. Okay, so while our glue dries, I'm gonna put on some mascara. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. It's my favorite right now. I'm just gonna curl my lashes first. Before I put on my mascara, I'm gonna tight line with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade Perversion, it's the black shade. I would've been so mad if I forgot this. Okay, so while our lashes dry, let's do our lip. For pencil, I'm gonna use the BFF2 Lip Liner from ColourPop. This one is my favorite. Lines. Okay, now for lipstick, I want to use a peach color as always. I to wear a matte lipstick by Anastasia in the shade Peachy. I love their formula for their matte lipsticks. I think it's really nice. Very pigmented, it doesn't come off when I eat. Now let's do bottom lash mascara with the same back out bang. It's my favorite. This is actually why I bought it for my bottom lashes. So I heard it was fire and it is. All right, so this is pretty much it, guys. I try to keep it super simple. I'm not doing nothing crazy tonight. I just wanted my face to last through skating. I don't know how much that's gonna take out of me because I haven't been in a long, 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 long time. So my last step would be anywhere that I got any mascara or like straight liner or anything, I just take a Q-tip dry and all of my mascara is dry now and just does the Q-tip over it. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please comment below, you guys, and tell me what you want to see from me. If you want to see more everyday get ready with me. If you want to see me do some crazy challenges. If you want to see me do a purple eye look or a pink one or red lips. Anything you guys want to see, just comment down below and let me know. And I will be happy to film it for you. Thank you so much again. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and share this video, okay? Till next time.